Hey, what's up, y'all? Y'all know my slogan. I don't know it all, but I know what I've been through. Now, today I want to talk about your boy Stray Drop and Cornelia Smith, who are Young Dolph's alleged killers. They are pretty much the number one suspects right now when it comes to that whole situation. Um, y'all know how I feel about it. I feel it's deeper than these two. However, right now we're just watching the show go on and straight drop and your boy Cornelia Smith are the four guys for right now and I say for right now and I emphasize that because at the end of the day I think that rabbit hole goes real deep but we just gotta wait and you know watch see what happens now when it comes to these two men two of these suspects are accused of killing Memphis rapper Young Dolph but they were set to go before a judge Tuesday morning which is today Marking their second court appearance since being captured after a nationwide manhunt. <clears throat> now, keep in mind, a nationwide manhunt. And I'm going a, I'm to a tell y'all why I'm emphasizing that in a few. But anyway, it says the Shelby County District Attorney's General Office sent out an update later in the morning saying their arraignments were tentatively moved to Wednesday instead. Now, the reason behind the rearrangement is unknown. All right. Now, what we do know now is that straight drop um, from previous reports that just came out today. They're saying he has a bond of $250,000 set for him while Cornelius still has no bond set. Now, I'm assuming the reason that is because Cornelius has a more dangerous background when it comes to the law, as well as his fingerprints and other evidence against him being very strong in this case. And not to mention <clears throat> when he was named as one of the suspects in Dolph's murder. He was already in Shelby County fighting a separate case that he's doing time for anyway. So they definitely not letting him out. Um, he also faces several charges such as first degree murder, attempted first degree murder for shooting at Dolph's brother who was with the rapper when he was killed, quote unquote. Being a fella in possession of a firearm, employment of a firearm during a dangerous felony, and theft over $10,000. All right. Now let's go. Let, let's look at the attempted first degree murder part because they're saying that he shot at Young Dolph's brother. But I'm trying to figure out when he had time to shoot at Young Dolph's brother because, as we see from the surveillance photos, because we still haven't seen the surveillance video yet, and that's another thing. But anyway, as we seen from the surveillance photos, all they did was go shoot or whatever into the cookie shop and then rush back to the car i'm trying to see when he had time to shoot at young Dolph's brother because at the end of the day when young Dolph's brother rushed quote unquote when he rushed to the um mercedes benz when he ran after it he had the gun in his hand or whatever the case may be and they say he shot into the mercedes benz now y'all know how i feel about that i got videos on that you know, if you want to check them out, you can check them out. However, I'm just nipping in the butt. There was no known uh, bullet wounds in the car. There was no gunshots to the gl uh, the glass, the window. It was no when they retrieved the car, there was no bullet holes. So I'm trying to see when Young Doll's brother, quote unquote, was able to shoot inside the car. And remember, if you remember from the beginning, they said that. He shot into the car. He killed one of them and, and shot one and harmed one. Of, I don't know. It's it's too much going on. Anyway, let's focus on this, man. Um, Justin Johnson, 23, also faces several charges, including one for violating in terms of a prior conviction from years ago. That was says Johnson, who was straight drop, was in court this past Friday for a charge of failure of a Tennessee sexual offender to timely report to register. Now, in 2015, Johnson was convicted of aggravated rape and is required to report every March, June, September, and December to MPD. He did not report to MPD in December to, uh, 2021, and I'm assuming because he was on the run and hiding in regards to the tension that was going on between the young Dolph case. All right, but he was in violation of the Sex Offender Tracking and Verification Act in 2004. Now, when it comes to these guys, they got their uh, court date, <clears throat> their arraignment moved to Wednesday, which is tomorrow, uh, January 19th. And like I said before, it's still unknown why they push this court date back to Wednesday. I don't know if maybe they're trying to give them time, both of them times to get lawyers, 
attorneys or whatever the case may be. I don't know. Maybe they got new information. Um, who knows? Um, but like I said, reports are flying around that Straight Drop already got a two hundred fifty thousand dollar bond set for him. So let's see what let's see where this goes, man. It's, it's a lot of strangeness that's going to go on, and I say that because I don't even know why Straight Drop um is having a bond or if they might grant him a bond or anything because he's a flight risk, you know. They was on a nationwide manhunt, quote unquote, like they just said earlier. So if he fleed from you guys the first time, that puts him as a flight risk. So how is he even eligible or looked at to have a bond? Right? If you ask me, you know, if I'm uh, one of the DAs or anything, giving him a bond doesn't make sense. It's, it's, it's backwards because he just flee from us the first time. What makes you think that he's not gonna try to do the same thing again? He's a flight risk. So like I said, I don't know, it's a lot of weirdness going on with this case already. Let's just stay tuned, see what they, you know, what they come up with. As of right now, they switched their court date to tomorrow for whatever reason, they still haven't gave us any reason, but that's just an update for you guys. Cause I know some people is probably, you know, thinking what's gonna come out about this case because they was arraigned today but it switched it's not they're not being arraigned today they'll be showing up in court tomorrow so um i'll keep y'all posted on what happens man i'll let y'all know what's going on as for right now don't forget to like comment share and subscribe hit that bell so you're notified every time we drop new content and remember as long as you keep on watching i'm gonna keep on dropping and i'm out